I'm John Holbert, and I'm asking for your vote in Arizona's third congressional district. I'm a 50-year-old father of five who has lived in the Valley for over two decades. I've worked here as an attorney and as a small business owner. I've been an active member of the community. I currently sit on the boards of New Way Learning Academy, a school in Scottsdale for kids with learning differences, as well as our own Phoenix Children's Hospital. I've also worked hard for Phoenix Thunderbirds, Thunderbirds Charities, Golden Gate Community Center, and All Saints Episcopal Church and Day School over a number of years. And when I got into this race, I thought this would be a natural extension to my community service. And it has been. But it was also driven by a number of issues. And I'd like to group them into three areas, border security, job security, and social security. Border security seems simple enough, and yet it has eluded us here in Arizona for decades. And I'm here to see that this stops and that we actually get something done. We're going to need more bodies down on the border, more border patrol, more National Guard. We're also going to need more structures, more fences, and we're going to need more technology. We can get that out of Washington with the right leadership, and I intend to fight for just that. In terms of job security, the way people have phrased it to me during the last year is, what's happened to the almost 300,000 jobs that have disappeared here in Arizona in the last two years? And how do we get them back? How do we move forward? How do we diversify our economy? I'll give you two quick stabs at this, things that we can do back in Washington right now. One, we should not raise taxes during these tough times. We should extend the Bush tax cuts, all of the tax cuts, through at least 2012 and give our markets more stability, give our Fortune 500 companies some ability to plan for the future as well as the all-important S-Corps and C-Corps, the small business owners. Allow them to invest in more jobs and more technology to get things turned around. Second, I would push hard for and try to get ahead of what is clearly a green revolution sweeping the world and work to bring clean energy jobs here to Arizona where they belong. And not just because of our abundance of sunshine, but also because of our proximity to California and its mandated need for clean energy. These are good paying jobs that can't be exported. And we can bring more of these jobs right here to Phoenix. On social security, some folks want to privatize this all important public trust. I'm dead set against that. I will fight tirelessly to make sure that doesn't happen. Simply put, the idea that we would take those precious funds and place them in the hands of the Wall Street casino after everything we've experienced in the last 10 years, well, it makes me shudder. And I can't imagine that this country would want that to happen. And I won't let it happen. And finally, I hope you get a sense, given my positions on taxes and immigration, that I'm not a typical politician. And I'm not a partisan. I've never run for office before, but I saw a need to secure our border and fix our country's policies on taxes and energy to get our economy moving again. I'm more than willing to cross party lines, cross party leadership on issues that I care deeply about and those that affect this district. I would also hope you understand that we need to send people to Washington who have maturity and real life experiences to tackle these incredibly hard problems. And the idea that we are going to send the same old politicians with the same old positions back there, well, that's not going to work either. Not now, not ever. I don't want to be chairman of some committee, let alone use this position as a stepping stone to a higher office. I want to serve the district for a few terms and come home to the place I love. So let me leave you with a promise, a promise to the Valley of the Sun. I intend to put your needs ahead of politics and I intend to put your needs ahead of partisanship. Again, I'm John Holbert, and I humbly ask for your support. Thank you.